Thank goodness you're here. Is the specimen ready for cleaning? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. I know it's been about a week since I last uploaded to the channel, and I wanted to make it up to you guys by my first video back being a very special video. So for today's very special video, we are going to be reviewing my friend today at Grew Ups woody modding service in case you guys are not aware today i grew up as a fellow toy story youtuber and he is such an amazing guy he's really talented with his craftsmanship it is just mind-blowing and yes i did take a look at the uh, product spoiler alert i'm really impressed and like my jaw literally dropped when i saw this but of course i'm going to be showing it to you guys and reviewing his modding service now before i begin the review i will say if you guys want to get your woody doll modded please go to today i grew up's website today i grew up.com and get his modding service there there will be a fee of course a service fee of $200 and I will definitely be putting the links in the description box below now let's get into the review so uh, how long is this gonna take you can't rush art all right something I'm gonna give today I grew up props for immediately that I noticed straight from the get-go is that he packaged this really well like the hat got his own little sandwich baggie there was a crap ton of bubble wrap especially singular pieces of bubble wrap covering each of his hands which I thought was really nice and he even sent me the remaining parts of what my woody doll once was in its own bubble wrap and I thought that itself was impressive in case you guys do not remember this is the version 2 head and hands from Preston's prop shop or what he's now called Preston's toy shop they feel really nice and it honestly feels like professional toy company material for the head and hands and the hands do remind me of the seed toys kid hands like they honestly look really on point here i will put the link to preston's instagram in the description below my favorite little thing that uh you can do is like do the little wave goodbye that uh bonnie made uh what do you do in toy story 3 like that's really nice right there but today i grew up did an amazing job on fastening the head and hands like there is still some articulation well full-on articulation holy crap i didn't notice that that is still cool that my, my toy can still do the We toys can see everything Can I put my balls in your jaw? I do not know if the uh, hand, oh, the hands do articulate, they, whoa, wow, he still put the articulation in the hands, that is amazing, that feels amazing right there. Today I grew up did an amazing job, this is top tier craftsmanship if you ask me, and he even added his own little ruby with his own little metal detailing, which is more accurate to the movie than what I once had on him. Because if you do not remember what I at one point had on him, that's the original Ruby. And honestly, the red on Today I Grew Up's version is more accurate in my opinion. Especially with the metal detailing. And wow, this is really a night and day difference right here. Amazing. One little thing that I thought I should point out. Uh, I do not remember if I somehow scuffed up the uh, yellow part of the holster right there. Or if that came off because of the polish he added on it. But I will ask him. It's not really a big problem to me. Because I don't really know notice it from afar and really this woody's to display <laughs> he's for display only then i grew up even added his own little touch on my red uh, bandana for woody's neck right here he added a piece of hot glue and just made it kind of spike out like that like a like a real cool cowboy i honestly love that that just looks amazing one thing I need to point out right here is that I did not tell him to add a badge or do anything with the badge because I had my own badge at home, but then it broke because it was pretty flimsy. I told today I grew up about it and I was asking him uh, where I could get like a better one that looks more metallic. And he told me he would send me one for free. That is from not a toy company. So today I grew up, you are an amazing, generous person for that. You are amazing. Thank you. Today I grew up, didn't do anything with the pearlized buttons because they were honestly pretty good to begin with. When today I grew up, got my Woody doll in the mail he noticed that right away that the voice box was crooked and the woody doll needed some proper stuffing to kind of make him more proportionate and kind of fill out so he fixed the voice box and he even added his own little pull string ring which is way more accurate than what mine was and uh, a big problem i had with the voice box whenever i first got this woody doll before upgrading it completely is that anytime i used the voice box the pull string always hung out a little bit out here and didn't go fully back in it kind of pissed me off and honestly i kind of had to do that to his body to get it to pull back in which was annoying that I had to do that every time because it, it shouldn't have to do that I shouldn't have to do that but today I grew up fixed that problem 
and he did an amazing job with it. So here is the voice box, still working. That right there, my friends, is music to my ears. I just love hearing his voice box. And today I grew up, did an amazing job at filling him out with stuffing, making him look more proportionate in the torso, and fixing my voice box. That was, honestly, I cannot thank him enough for that. Today I grew up, even upgraded my Woody doll hat, which I love to death. This is amazing right here. Like, he uh, upgraded the uh, polyvinyl stitching right here, because originally, whenever I first got this upgraded modded movie accurate hat from a seller on Etsy, he had a weird color for the polyvinyl, and he used two strings instead of one, which I do believe that is, like, one string there to lace it all, and I don't get why he used two, and it kind of, I'll admit, it kind of made it look a little weird, and today I grew up even added a felt mod to the hat, which is amazing. Because, because with the felt mod, it can actually protect uh, the paint on the head from scuffing up. And I really do not want it to scuff up because I want to keep this Woody doll in really pristine condition. And as a bonus, uh, if you don't play with it, it won't fall off because if you move it a lot, it uh, well does that. If you stand him up on a stand, he looks just like he was ripped out of Toy Story 1 and 2. And the hat sits perfectly. Just I would recommend that if you ever do a felt mod on your Woody doll hat and you have Preston's head or... Uh, just a movie accurate head do not play around with the woody doll i just recommend if you're doing a felt mod just use your woody doll for display now i did ask today i grew up to stitch up some uh, rips on woody because uh when the seller that i originally got the doll from uh he custom modded the arms to the point where it was kind of like a, a really botched job and there was like a holes on his sides and in his arms and it just didn't really look that good. But I asked today, I grew up if he could close those up for me and still make the arms loose, but just close up the holes on the sides and on the arms. And he did a really good stitch work because I don't even really notice it anymore. Now there is a night and day difference with the heads right here. This is the one that uh, came on the doll whenever I got the doll from Etsy. The paint's too glossy and the paint job is really blotchy looking. I mean, the lines are okay actually, but again, Preston's lines on his head are even better. Those are the Preston Prop Shop hands and this is the hands that I got from the Etsy seller. And I at first thought they were 3D printed, but now I'm starting to think that these were actually Disney Store Woody hands. Now, it really fooled me there. But again, the paint doesn't look that good. It's blotchy, too glossy, and the shade of skin isn't that good compared to Preston's hands. Overall, I highly recommend today I grew up's modding service. I give it a 10 out of 10, all five stars. He had perfect communication with me back and forth during the process of getting the Woody doll modded and while he was making the video about modding my Woody doll. And I'll put that video in the link in the description below. If you guys want to get your Woody dolls modded, please go to Today I Grew Up's website at todayigrewup.com. All you guys gotta do is go to his website and buy his modding service. Make sure you guys have the doll and all the custom parts you need to get the Woody doll modded and ship it to him in his P.O. box in California. And I'll put all that in the description below. And believe me guys, this is very much worth it. Again, if you wanna get your Woody dolls modded, go to todayigrewup.com and purchase his modding service. So yeah, you guys have reached it to the end of my video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so I don't miss a single video. This has been your boy, Avi, out. Peace out, Rainbow Trouts.